Good morning from the greatest campsite in the U.S. Yes. And look at all of our fellow campers. That's right, Wally World. <laughs> So the best thing about camping in a Walmart parking lot, aside from having really sketchy neighbors that make for great stories later and guys that run generators all night long, is when you forget something or you need something, you can go buy something in your pajamas. So let's go get some stuff at Walmart and then let's get out of here. stuck. We think that car down there just got stuck. Because they stopped. But there's a ton of RVs down there. Looks like there's a big dip.
this morning was pretty uneventful. Um, we kind of had a lazy morning and then got up and just worked because yesterday with the two hikes we did, it was just so crazy. We kind of took a break and just got some work done this morning and uh, we hated to leave our campsite at Walmart because it was just so great. Um, but we found another place. It's not as good as Walmart, but uh, you can be the judge of that. I do think Everest likes it better though. So as Lindsay shared, we're pretty stoked about this awesome campsite we have. We're gonna be here for the next two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nights. Now that we're here and we know that we're gonna be here, we don't have to leave, we don't have to go anywhere. We got enough water, we got enough food, we just emptied our tank, so we are good to stay here for the next three or four days without having to move at all. That being said, I'm gonna go bust out all of our toys, get our chairs, our tables. Uh, Lindsay's gonna cook on the grill. We'll get all that stuff out there, and then I think me and the dog are going to go take a bath. Definitely not a unique idea, but this place accommodates hundreds of RVs. Awesome. Honey life isn't that bad. Especially when you like to cook. But not when you like to clean. Somehow in our marriage we have an arrangement where she cooks, I clean. It's a lot harder to clean in a camper. Yum. Mm-hmm. That's good. Second time using the griddle. We had an invasion of flies. These are the ones that have survived for now. The generator's still on, it's almost seven o'clock. So I'm gonna cut it off, I think eight o'clock Utah time, seven o'clock Arizona time. We're literally right across the border, like two miles. So the time zones are different. Um, but the sun's down, so I'm gonna cut the generator off. I don't wanna be generator George. But while we have the generator going, I've plugged in the vacuum and I'm going to suck up the rest of these bugs after I eat my dinner. What? Thank you for cooking, Lindsay. I'm a good yeah. husband. I say thank you to my wife. <laughs> so today was pretty awesome. We woke up in Walmart and we're falling asleep now on a beach in Arizona. Utah. Arizona. Somewhere. Right near the border. Anyway. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel, like it. Please leave us a comment, a positive comment. We all wanna make the world better through positive comments. And uh, of course, share our story with your friends and family. Thanks and we'll see you manana.
That's Spanish for tomorrow. Practicing my Spanish.